In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error message on Raybox, which says your Windows 7 system is too outdated. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are getting an error message that looks like this with a code of KB4534310, then there's a couple of things you're gonna to want to do to resolve this issue. So first, what you're gonna to want to do is come to your desktop, and from your desktop, what you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and click onto your search icon down here. Next, go ahead and type run into the search box and open up the run app, which will be underneath best match. Now into the search box, what you want to do here is type the following, which is the percent symbol followed by temp and then another percent symbol and then hit enter. So this is going to load up a folder that's going to look similar to this. Now what you want to do from here is locate your Roblox folder in here. So you can see that's down here and then just simply go ahead and delete this from here. So you just click on here and press delete. Once that's done, what you want to do is open up a new internet browser. So once you've opened up a browser, what you want to do is come up to the top right hand corner. I'm currently using Google Chrome and click onto the three dots up here. Next, come down and click onto settings. And then what you want to do is come over to the left hand side to this menu and go ahead and click onto privacy and security. From here, what you're going to want to do is look at the section down here. So privacy and security. And what you want to do is click onto cookies and other site data. And then from here, just scroll down slightly until you see the see all site data and permissions option down here. Give that a click. And from here at the very top of the page, what you want to do is go ahead and type into the search box Roblox. So you can see Roblox.com should come up. What you want to do next is click onto the trash can next to this Roblox. So you want to click here and then click onto clear. Once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer. So once you've restarted your computer, there's just one final thing you're going to want to do. And what you want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner, click onto your search icon again and go ahead and type Roblox player. Now what you want to do underneath best match is right click onto the Roblox player and click onto open file location. From here, go ahead and click onto your Roblox player to highlight it, right click and then come down and click onto properties. Next, what you want to do, you're going to get a window like this. And from here, if you look at the top, you've got some different tabs. You want to click onto compatibility. Now, what you want to do is tick the box to run this program in compatibility mode. So you want to tick this box here. And from the drop down box, you want to select Windows 7. Make sure you've also ticked the box underneath settings, which has to disable full screen optimizations. Click apply and then OK. If you do have the option to run the compatibility troubleshooter as well, you can do that in addition. And this is going to detect any further issues. What you want to do is run this and then click on to try recommended settings, then test the program and you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to reconfigure and reinstall Roblox to run on your system successfully. So once that's done, what you want to do is click next and then click yes to save these settings. You'll see it's going to say fixed with a tick. Go ahead and close this and come out of this. And what you want to do one final time is restart your computer. And if you now go ahead and try and play Roblox, you should be able to play now with no problems. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial. And I will see you in the next video.